Slack attack. Well, yeah, hey, thanks for joining me again. Let's play some more Grand Theft Auto V. This is the Carbine Rifles mission. We have to go acquire some weaponry for our first heist. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you can put together your own deals, your own jobs. So, there's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. Okay, and while they were blathering away, I got myself up on the Elysian Fields Freeway, headed east, and now we're curving around to the north. This is where the police van full of carbine rifles is always spotted by Lester for the first time. So if you can get the jump on these guys and get in position before they even cut, start coming south down the freeway, um, you'd be doing fine. So we just got the text from Lester saying that the van full of carbine rifles is on its way down. And there it is right there. You see that blue HS up a ways. Now, two ways you could do this with Michael. If you could spot the van in advance, okay, just simply go into your um, special ability, your bullet time ability, and snipe the driver. Another way I like to do it, and this is what I'm doing now, is to create a traffic jam. So I target all the semis, all the big trucks, right? <laughs> just take out the drivers. That's no problem. He's to get right over. Take out the drivers and create a big traffic jam. And um, if you do it well enough, you'll catch the police van. You'll just get them all jammed up. They won't be able to go any further. Just, just like lay a trap for them. Okay, so this is a great little trap there. They can't get past that. So the police van is now trapped behind that semi right there, you see? So now they're still trying to get out. And when they finally figure out they can't go any further, it's too late for them because you're in position to gun them all down if they get out of the van and that's it, that's all. That's my favorite way of doing this. Now we have to lose our wanted level and I just drive north to the countryside and drive off road. That's the ultimate plan if I can't shake him before that. Sometimes with that big traffic jam there you can like um, lose your wanted level a lot earlier if they lose sight of you. As they just did now. This is kind of complicated because there's a cop coming right towards me, so I got I got spotted again. So now I'm going with uh, plan A. Drive north to the countryside. to this plant because uh, it often involves some spectacular wipeouts on the parts on the part of the cops as they try to chase you out to the countryside. Okay, so they lost sight of me momentarily and now they spotted me again. Go back to plan A, push further into the countryside, and then as soon as we can go off road. Okay, head off. 
off road here. Okay, so over hill and over dale, they never follow you. They never follow you off route. That's it. Beautiful little hiding spot here. And we're free. And all, we have to, all we have to do is drive back to Lester's Garment Factory to finish out the mission. Now now, now is a good time to um, engage auto save if you have that option. Because what happens is as soon as you complete this mission, the game forces you to start the next mission right away which is a bit of a bitch and if you're not ready for that yeah. and the next mission is the heist itself basically it's a smash and grab and run job on a jewel store Okay, here's my street here. This is the street I'm familiar with, and then I'm gonna just push east and south down to Lester's Garment Factory. Two building in here, boss. Okay, Lester's Garment Factory is just past the pylons on the right. Here's the orange pylons, just past here. And we have to park the police van in this kind of secluded spot under the bridge. Just to head off to the left. And that's it. All the rest is the cutscene planning the robbery. So I'm going to sign off here. Thanks for watching. See you next video. All right, Lester. I got us the tag team rifles. All right. Then this score is ready to go. Come inside and meet the crew. All right. I want to say thanks for being a part of our little operation. We're all professionals. We all know the score. We're going to execute the plan. We're going to move quick, and we're going to keep cool. Anybody gets pinched, this meeting never took place. We don't know each other. Is that clear? Now, we've um, looked very, very carefully at the plans. We considered something more complicated, but given the location, the weakness of staffing and the exit points, we believe that a more simple plan will work best. We're gonna hack in, disable security, and waltz right in through the front door. The security guard should be to our left. We neutralize him, 15 seconds later, you come in. I want extreme pressure applied to the staff. The customers are to be calmly subdued. I want one guy on crowd control while you and I empty out the merchandise from the cabinets. We're in and out in 90 seconds, guys. Franklin will handle your getaway. I'm leaving on foot.
Any questions? Good luck, everyone. Let's go. Yeah, come on, get in. One, two, three. Get some.